Hello and greetings. It's good to be with you. In the last week and more, our world has been thrown into turmoil as violence has struck in Beirut and Paris. There are a great number of casualties and unfortunately the rhetoric is now turning to the rhetoric of war. Perhaps one of the real at-risk casualties in the aftermath of Paris is the earth itself. Global leaders are meant to gather this weekend to discuss the issue of climate change and come to new resolve around what kind of efforts we will do to mitigate and reverse the dramatic uh, violence that we are doing in fact to the earth itself. For us Christians we have to think of ways in which we can act sensibly and responsibly in terms of our household. At our recent House of Bishops meeting, the bishops together worked on a statement that will be released this weekend. It exhorts uh, us as Christians, but also our government and everybody around the world to limit the global temperature increase to 1.5 degrees. This is extraordinarily important, particularly for our Pacific neighbours and uh, indeed Pacific nations ask you to do what you can. Uh, I'm glad to say that the Grace Collective are marching in the march on Saturday. You might join them in that march, but if you're unable, please keep the earth itself in your prayers as we move into this vital period of deciding what indeed will be the future for the whole earth.